Today, there's a few things happening. I've got just kind of a bunch of errands I have to do. I'm going to pick up t-shirts for the farm, finally. Um, Mark and Toby were pressuring me, pressuring me for a while to finally get some t-shirts. The other thing is I'm trying to deal with is we have this water crisis at one of our plots where our landowner's water has been disconnected because there was an accident with the main line to her house and so she has no water so I've taken it upon myself to help her find a contractor and she's at a hard time so I gotta go in the meantime while we wait for this contractor I have to go and see if I can bribe our neighbor there to uh, let us use their water to water the plot a few times and uh, right now I'm just checking up on this plot so the interplanting has begun in our new greenhouses on the flagship plot so this is the 18 foot wide tunnel here and then we've got the now it's 13 or 14 feet wide and we're starting here. We'll be able to put four rows of tomatoes in there and we're gonna put five rows in this one. And so I can see Roger has already begun interplanting along the bed of radishes there. And uh, yeah, he's getting in the bed of turnips here and he's also started on that bed of arugula. So he's gonna start interplanting in here. We'll have two rows here that we don't have to worry about interplanting. And so this is exciting. The weather's finally turned around too. It's warm now. I think the two week forecast is looking good. The other thing I came here to check up on is I'm going to pull some of this tarp off and I, I need more places to plant. Like I am maxed out right now. I'm already rotating into the se second plantings of beds that we've harvested, but I need more area. So I'm hoping I can get in these beds. So I'm going to open these up right now and um, what I might do is come and flame weed them so that I can get a crop in here soon. So let's check it out. So the soil is very warm, which is good, but I don't see a lot of weed germination. Um, that could mean two things. One, there isn't a lot of weeds because we basically put two inches of compost on the surface or the weeds haven't germinated yet and it could be a bit of both. So I would feel more comfortable if the weeds had been germinated now and then I knew I could just flame weed it and plant. But the other thing I could do is I could plant these and I might do this tomorrow. I could plant and then I could come back and flame weed three or four days after I planted, hoping that I do get some weed germination at that point and then my crop should come up after that. So those are some options there. But uh, the soil looks good and it's very, very warm to the touch. So that's a good thing. All right, success. Came here, talked to my neighbor, did a little favor for him and uh, he's going to let me pipe the water off his house, hook it up to my irrigation system here for however long it takes for us to get this house fixed. And so we're good. We're gonna be able to water. So I'm gonna go and run a couple other errands and then I'll come back here and then set this up. All right, got the solution. Ran a hose from my neighbor's place or our neighbor's place here and I just piped it into our main. So I got brought one of my hoses, tied it right into the line that feeds my whole system that normally comes from the faucet here. And I'm able to run my timers as normal. So not bad for a emergency situation. And now there's a good opportunity to show you how the irrigation on these greenhouses runs without the plastic on it. It's a little easier to see. Some people have asked with our landscape fabrics when we burn multiples together if they stick and they do but as you can see it's easy to pull them apart and they don't rip they're they're kind of stuck because the part of the nylon or plastic is melted together the other one but because they've been burned they're cauterized so when you tear them apart the rip won't continue that's why burning it is better than cutting the holes So this caterpillar tunnel is doing really well at our brand new plot. This lettuce is 
well on its way. I think in two and a half weeks tops, if we keep getting some nice weather like this, then we should be harvesting this very soon, which is perfect because then we'll be just passing our second cut of the Salanova that we're doing now, and then we'll be coming onto this. So that timing will work out perfectly. So the guys are pinning down the fabric beds. A lot of people ask about this. So we just use these standard landscape pins and we actually soaked these in some CLR and water to get all the rust off them so we reused them. So we're putting in a pin every three or four feet on both sides and you can see how Mark's stretching out with his two feet over the bed. That's getting a nice tension so it's even on both sides and then he's pinning it in. Toby's doing the same there. And the nice thing about these four, four foot fabrics is they actually overlap in the walkways so that um, there's, no weed, there's no room for weeds anywhere. Just got an order of parasitic wasps like the ones I did a video on quite a while ago. Um, I'm gonna put more of these in here because frankly the ladybugs aren't doing as good of a job as I'd like to see them do. I still see some aphids on these tomato plants and it's enough for me to say I don't want to see them at all. So these ones are gonna do the trick. Fortunately, the, the aphids haven't really stunted the production too much. They're still, we're still doing really good. Some of these plants are six feet tall now, so we're, we're flying. I'm gonna open up this box and release these wasps into this greenhouse. So this only costs 45 bucks with shipping. For 300 wasps? For, no, for, I mean, yeah, I think so. Let's see what it says on the invoice. Still, not much. I think that's what it was. 500 parasitic wasps, $58 with tax and shipping. So, so far I've spent 120 plus 58, basically $180 on pest management in this greenhouse so far this year. But I think it's all gonna be worth it because these tomatoes are gonna start pumping real soon. So they come with like ice packs, they got these just like ice packs to keep it cool, and then the bugs are in one of these. Maybe this one. There they are. <laughs> All of that packaging with this one little case. Wow. Aphidius system. Aphidius colmani. That's the maybe Latin name. One, 500 pieces. Oh, cool. There's actually little like aphids that are hatchlings in here too. It's kind of hard to see, but there's all this kind of stuff that they live in. Oh, there they are. Oh, there goes one. So I'm just gonna spread these around the greenhouse. Get these little wasps everywhere. All right, so my day is not quite done. I gotta plant a bunch of microgreens and then that's the day. You guys have seen that before, so we'll see you later.